Alleluia Ministries International is a Bible-believing and Christ-centered church. We believe Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. His power is still at work in the church today, just as it was in the time of the Bible. We are AMI. There is what is known as the covenant relationship. The covenant relationship between two people is made through vow. We were all bound to die until the new covenant through Jesus Christ was established. God entered into covenant with us, just like he did with Abraham. You are made righteous, not by your effort, by covenant. In the new covenant, righteousness does not depend on the things you do. Righteousness solely depends on the things he did. On the cross of Calvary, when he shed his blood and he said, it is finished. The level of power anyone will ever have in any given time is directly linked to the strength of his covenant. With that covenant, you do not exist. There is what I know and I call a personal covenant. Jesus Christ had 12 disciples. He loved them all. But one called John had a personal relationship that was higher than the relationship he had with everybody. Every one of us must have a relationship. Yes, we are prophetic, we are apostolic, we are AMI. But in all this equation, who are you to him? You gotta know him. This is a presentation of Alleluia Ministries International. I have a personal covenant with God. I do what I do, not because I pray more than everybody. There are people who pray more than me. I do what I do because he called me. And when he called me, I said no. And he entered into covenant with me. And every time I see things, I remind heaven. I remind the devil. And I declare in my atmosphere who I am. Why? Because it speaks of my covenant. When I mention that, God knows I have a covenant with him. That every time he shows up on anything, I must make things happen. Are you hearing me? Amen. So it's not every time I stand and mention my name. Mm. I'm not trying to tell you who I am. <laughs> no. I'm speaking beyond you. Oh yes. I'm addressing things in high level. Oh yes. My name is Aflukau. Oh, yeah. HIV understands that. Cancer understands that. Witchcraft understands that. Satan understands that. When I say who I am in God, they know that this man has a deep covenant with God. And by virtue of that covenant, that mountain shall be moved. Amen. That mountain shall be. Are you hearing me? Amen. You gotta have a covenant with him. I have sons and daughters who are called to come out of my loins. And because they are called to come out of my loins, they are connected to my inner being. The umbilical cord is connected to me. By virtue of that, my covenant with God is the covenant with God. Amen. God made a covenant with Moses and Israel were part of that covenant mm. because the covenant ushered a new dispensation. He had a covenant with Abraham, the Abrahamic covenant. And every promise made to Abraham, everyone who aligned with him That's right. entered into that. The Lord told me that he will raise a generation mm. of men and women we will shake this world. We Men and women with whom he will do things unseen. We Men and women who will become his shadows on earth. Men and women we who will be the reflection of his glory. Somebody he received. Told me 
I am not like Greatness everyone. Is released now. God told me, mm. He called me not to fit in, He Rebus. called me to stand out. He told me in the process, many will not understand, many will not stand with me. He said, be at peace with it because I have anointed you differently. The element I have placed in you has not been yet used on earth I before guess. you. He said, I have given you an anointing that is higher than any anointing you have uh, come to know before. I there are those who are them. anointed. There are those who carry a strong anointing, a superior anointing. There are those who carry a fatherly anointing. He said, you among the twelve, I have raised you with a supreme oh. anointing. I and he said, that. those who are aligned with you will enter into the supreme grace and the supreme I anointing. Oh, I don't know who God sent me to speak to. But Isaiah said, me and the sons that the Lord has given us, we are for a son and wonder Wonders. in Israel. I say today oh, in this dying world, me, of look out with the sons that the Lord has given me. We are for signs and, and wonders. wonders in this time. I we don't know how many of you word. believe what God says. I don't know how many of you yearn for it. But we something is happening. Something is happening. We receive it. Jesus' name. There are things that you do by grace. The grace of the anointing. The mm -hmm. grace of the gift. But let me tell you, nothing beats your covenant. Amen. We may all prophesy. But they will not prophesy the same. That's because right. you see, like there are levels and levels. And it doesn't go with the fact that uh, you pray more. It doesn't go with the fact that you dress this way. It is a covenant thing. Somebody say, it's a covenant it's thing. It's a covenant thing. The covenant you have is higher than any covenant. The I reason why I know which it. doctor can be stronger than you is because your covenant is stronger than any Amen. other covenant. Your altar is bigger and more powerful than Amen. any shrine out there. Amen. Are you hearing me? Somebody was in hospital. Mm. She gave a testimony here. Bishop J may remember, and some of you, and she says she was in coma. Everything collapsed, mm. but she could hear people. She says she has been praying. Rabbi, call Lord, help me, help me. Then something say, call on the God of your father. Yes. Royal she says, I wasted my time in coma. I literally wasted my time in coma. Everything collapsed. The enemies get that already for a party of her downfall. Mm. They opened a champagne, but before they drank it, something told her. Hey. Call on the God of your father. She says, she began to say, I'm a covenant daughter of Aflu Kawi. Yes. Now, a man is nothing. The covenant That's is right. everything. Because the covenant says, whatever is happening is not you. Yes. Is what is behind your covenant. Hallelujah. The Lord Himself is behind the covenant. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me? Mm. Mm. See, I'm a covenant daughter Jesus. of Afro Cow. On the altar of the Lord, my father repeatedly said, I will not die before yes. my time. She said, I commanded every devil to live. Right there, I could hear people move. I started moving my hand, I opened my eyes. He said, Daddy, I prayed for less than a minute. I was out of coma. Hallelujah. I said, my God, I wasted my time in that coma. I Jesus. suffered for nothing. If only I knew where I belong. If only I knew where my strength lies. Yes. If only I knew where my umbilical cord is connected to. If only I knew who is my Moses. If only I knew daughter, what God told him. Outlook. If only I knew. Yes. My umbilical cord is connected. Somebody receive this word. 
Reba Sata. Elisha understood. Mm. He could have called on the Abrahamic covenant, but he did not. Yeah. He could have called on the Adamic covenant, the Noahic covenant, mm. the Palestinian covenant, because all this covenant happened before him. But the Bible says, Elisha, when faced with the Jordan River, did not claim the Davidic covenant. The Bible says he took the mantle of Elijah. He rolled it. You gotta know Jesus. how to work what God has yes. given you through your spiritual father. Yes. What God has given you through your father, you have to know how to take it and roll it. He took it. He rolled it. And with it, he struck the water. And he said this. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Hear this. Mm. Prior to that day, nowhere was it mentioned the God of Elijah. No one ever called on the God of Elijah. They knew the God of Abraham, That's right. Isaac, and Jacob. No one called any God or called our God, God of Elijah. But this young boy starting ministry, carrying the mentor of his spiritual father, knew that here, my connection to Abraham is too far. Yeah. I have a point of contact. Yes, I have my point of contact. Yes. My spiritual father is my point of contact. Yes. He's not my mediator. Yes. He's a facilitator in my life. My context. Yes. He say, where is the God of Elijah? Any theologian next to him could have said that. You said it wrong. You said it completely wrong. You're supposed mm. to say, God of Abraham. Say after me, God of Abraham. Ah, there are levels and levels. Are you hearing me? Hallelujah Ministries. The son of victory is part of our covenant. Oh, yes. I don't care what is happening out there. Every time we lift our hands like this, it says victory. Victory. In this house, we do not lose battles. Yes. In this house, we always win. We always win. It is win. part of our covenant. A thousand falls on our side. Ten thousand on our right side. Yes. It shall not come near us. With our eyes only shall we see the reward of the wicked. Amen. Victory is ours. Victory is ours. We always win. We are covenant. Now, if you are not in covenant, you just in general covenant, you will find it very hard. Because you, you, you're just in general covenant. Mm. You just fly. I have sons of mine, daughters of mine, in ministry, around the globe, around the world. But in that which God asked them to do, they need beyond the general covenant they need a point of contact. Yeah. Yes. They need a facilitator. And for them, I am not just a spiritual father. I am in covenant with them. Yes. Amen. Amen. Are you hearing me? Now, in covenant, everything that the Lord said to one, he has said it to another. My, my son, come. AJ, come. Let me show you what covenant. Remain standing. Come quickly. Stand here. Stand here. If this is you, are you hearing me? Amen. If this is you, once you are in covenant with him, two things happen. You're giving him the front seat and the back seat. Come, 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 come up here. Come up here. The front seat he comes in front of you. Hey. 
you vanish. When the enemy want to attack you, he sees him. Oh, yes. Are you hearing me? Amen. When that devil flying by night comes again, he will meet the God of Afro Cow. Oh, yes. Because you see, in covenant, you literally disappear. That's right. You hide in it. It's no longer you, it is him. He stands there. The second thing that happens, he backs you up. Oh, yes. Jesus. Oh, yes. Robo Seta. Are you hearing me? Amen. He backs you up. Now, whatever you do, it's no longer just you doing it. That's right. He has your back. Somebody say, I'm covered. I'm covered. Say, he has my back. He has my back. He is with you, pushing you, standing Amen. with you, and he is in front of you. Yeah. Now, now, when you stand and the devil is there, Uh-huh. <laughs> he did not pray. He didn't fast. Yes. I prayed. Yeah. I fasted. Yes. When trial comes, Hallelujah. Somebody get this revelation once and for all. Here. This is with Jesus. Before you enter heaven, because of covenant, we, we feel like a, they will, we will be judged at the entry. That will never happen. Because rapture is happening. If you are raptured, you are already there. Oh, well, the judgment. You will not be judged. You escape judgment. Are you hearing me? There will be a time where God will give us reward, but that is for children of God. You will not be judged. Oh no, that day they open a book, they say you did this and uh, you enter, you not enter. No, that is for the world. The world is judged, you're not judged. Amen. When that time comes that you have to enter, they will call AJ Lukau. Instead of him showing, Jesus shows up. Oh. Are you hearing? Now, when they will inspect AJ Lukau. For him to enter into heaven, they will not look at AJ Lukau, they will look at Jesus Christ. Yeah. So, his entry to heaven will not be 99% success. It will be 100% success. Glory to Jesus. Do you understand covenant? Amen. And God is a covenant keeping God. If you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can catch Pastor Arthur Lukau on AMI TV on the public bouquet or on our live stream on AMITV.com. You can follow Pastor Arthur Lukau on all social media platforms at Arthur Lukau.